What's going on folks? My name is Josh and I am the Outdoor Dude. Thanks for coming back. I'm back again today with some more tips for beginners and today we're here to talk to you about how to spool a bait caster. So stick around. Look at that big mama jamma folks. All right, if you're new to bass fishing or if you're new to fishing in general with a bait caster, it might seem a little bit daunting at first. There's a lot of tricks that go along with casting a bait caster. There's a lot of little tricks and tips that could go along with um, spooling up a bait caster. And that's what this video is going to be about. We're going to spool up this bait caster. I've got an Abu Garcia Black Max. And we're going to spool this up with some uh, Berkeley Big Game 10 Pound Test. It's one of the, it's the model filament that I use for just about everything. Let's get into it. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to um, tie a knot on our spool. First thing first. Let me show you the little setup that I've developed just for this video. There's multiple ways to put line on your reel. You could go and get one of the um, line spooling stations that you could buy at various outdoor sporting goods stores. And I'm on a budget. A lot of things I do on this channel are about being on a budget. So I figured what better way than to do it without something like that for everybody to see, for all the kids learning to fish out there that don't have money for something like that. <clears throat> so... There's one way you can do it. You can put a pencil in between the spool and hold it with your feet and spool your reel up like that. When you're by yourself, you can have a buddy hold the pencil even better because then they can put tension on the spool. So you are pulling the line off the spool at a decent tension and you'll actually avoid backlashes and you'll be able to get your line on your reel a lot tighter. Now what I made for the video is just a quick coat hanger I bent into shape to fit in my tackle bag right in the front. And I put a cloth over the front of this right here so it, my line doesn't rub on the zipper. But this is just a basic plain old tackle bag. The zipper broke on me so this thing just flaps wide open. So I'm thinking about leaving this in there for this season for a quick spooling station. But I just did that so it sits there and it comes, it'll come off the spool with a little bit of resistance on the spool so it can stay tight. Always remember that when spooling your bait caster that the line comes off the top of the spool. You want the line to go on your reel the same way it's coming off the spool. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna run our line through the eyelet of the reel, like so. What I like to do is put the tip of the line down into the wiffle spool. These little wiffle holes in your spool. And turn your reel until it comes all the way around. And you'll grab that line. And feed a little extra through here so you can pull it out and have this extra slack to tie your knot. Before you tie the knot, the first knot you want to tie is at the end of this. Just a basic overhand knot at the end of your line. Real easy, very simple. Then you take your scissors, cut off the tag end. Get enough slack in your line around this spool so you can tie this knot. There we go. Get enough slack in your line around the spool so you can tie this knot. So you've got your knot in the tip of your line. Then you will do a basic overhand knot around this below the other knot you just tied. And when you pull it down like that, it acts as a backing knot for that knot for the second knot you just tied. Now it's on there pretty tight. All right, so the hard part's over. Now you've got your your line on your bait caster. Pull that all the way out there. Now you've got your knot tied. Everything's on there. And this, being a slip knot, will pull tension on that spool. So it should it should just start pulling line right on. And what I like to do is. Hold the reel in my hand like this, keep your keep my fingers out of the way of the drag, and then just start reeling. 
One thing I like to keep in mind and try to remember, keep tension on your spool. Keep tension on your spool. That's why I like this little setup that I've got right here. It's got a lot of tension on that. And keep your fingers out in front of you. Hold that line as center as possible to the reel. So you can just let the line guide put this on evenly. And you just keep this centered, lined up best you can. Go, you could go about as fast as you want before it burns your fingers. And you just fill your spool. So you just fill this bad boy up. And don't go too far. You don't want to overfill it because when you press this button, it goes down and it swings in a little bit. And that'll interfere with your, you know, that's just bad news. And that's it. It's, it's as easy as that. How to spool a bait caster. Now you guys learned a little something. And I got a... Now you guys, hopefully you guys learn a little something. And I have a reel all spooled up ready for this season. Win-win. And that was how to spool a bait caster, guys. Hopefully I was able to teach you guys something. Um, sorry about you seasoned veterans out there. I will be releasing actual fishing, fishing footage soon. Um... Got some trips planned coming up, and things are about to start happening here in upstate New York. Things are just starting to thaw out. Creeks are coming down a little bit. We're going to get some real fishing going, so just hang in there. And for my beginners, I hope, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully I was able to help teach you something, and hopefully you'll be able to go out there and catch some more fish and have a little more confidence doing it. And a little more confidence in your gear and your, and your ability to service your own gear, so you don't have to go to a dicks sporting goods or a bass pro shops or something to have your reels re-spooled one more tip to this there's a lot a lot of guys believe in a line treatment and it does work it does really good things for you i don't have any right now i'll probably treat this later on down the road but if you do use it it's good stuff and it's worth it so keep that in mind a little bit of line treatment goes a long way and uh for us budget guys that's a big deal so if we can make the make our bucks go a little bit further. I'm all about it. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to end the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and come back for more.